Good morning, everybody. Kind of a wet morning. I'm not used to this this summer. It's been a very dry year, but I'm sure that this rain is much needed. It was probably needed about last month, but it's here, so we'll enjoy it. I'm about to head around the corner here and head into work. I'm uh, much earlier than usual. I have two loads of those poles to deliver today with the picker truck, with the claw. So it might turn out to be a little bit of a longer day, but uh, we're gonna get her done. We'll be the first one in and we'll see what time we get done. So on Google, like I still have to confirm this, but on Google anyways, Starbucks in town here only opens at eight o'clock today for some reason. Maybe that's a mistake. I'm not gonna risk wasting my time running all the way over there. We're just going to Timmy's. Since we're uh, so much earlier today, it's not nearly as busy. And you see this whole intersection is always all blocked by the people going to Tim's. And if we get here at this time, only one person in line in front of us. Today is gonna be a good day. I guess I'm a creature of convenience. One second. Oh, that's bright. That is bright. Uh, could I get a, a large coffee with one cream and a shot of espresso? One cream and a shot of espresso? Uh huh. Yeah, and could I get a, a farmer a sausage farmer's wrap? Sausage farmer's Yeah. Large one, cream, sausage, farmer up. And you want to make combo with the hash bun on the side? Sure, yeah. You got and the espresso in my coffee? I'm sorry, I don't have hash buns on the side. You want to make combo with any muffin or donut? Muffin or donut? Uh, no, thank you. That's fine. Okay, anything else for you? No, you have my espresso in the coffee, though? Oh, you want espresso in the coffee? Sure. Yeah. Anything else? That's it. Okay, drive to the window, please. Thank you. You're welcome. You heard me ask for espresso three times, right? I'm not just losing my mind this morning. And they were short with me and kind of rude at the window too. That's why I go to Starbucks now. That's exactly why. That and the long lineups, but you know, like I was telling you before we uh, ordered there, I'm a creature of convenience. Today it was just more convenient to go to Tim's because Starbucks apparently isn't open till eight. I still have to double check that. That might just be an error on Google because every other day they open earlier. But on Thursdays, I don't know what's going on anymore. I got my coffee, I got my food. Let's go get in the truck and uh, go deliver some poles. Okay, I gotta look for my trailer first. I wanna see what we're working with today. It's supposed to be in the yard somewhere. Again, I'm in the empty, empty lot looking for a loaded trailer. Let's go over to the loaded lineup to find our loaded trailer. There she is. They left her tied down for me. That's nice. So all we got to do is hook on and go. Right on. Let's go get the truck. I'm not too sure how long this is going to take. Because this is my second day uh, being alone on the picker truck after my training, of course. So I, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm not worried about that. It's, uh, I don't know how long it takes to, uh, unload all the time. Hopefully it won't be raining all day because I got to sit up there on the crane, but if it is, that's okay. A little water never hurt me. We're here. Everything is nice and neat in here again, very clean. We got half tank of fuel, but that's okay, that'll be enough. Uh, we can fuel up along the way, or that'll get us through our day. We'll fuel up at the end of our day. 
leave the truck full of fuel so that we leave it better than we found it. There's my gauge cluster. This is an older truck. This is definitely an older truck. But she runs good, she's powerful, and she's a lot of fun to drive. Actually, this truck's not as old as I thought it was. This is a 2005. Huh. I had to double check on the cab card here. Figure I uh, may as well find out. I thought it was like mid to late 80s, just judging by the front end style of the truck. But no, no, it's just heavy duty, 2005 Kenworth. And uh, it's got 20,000 pound front axle. It's got the crane on it, obviously. Uh, like I said last time we used this truck, this truck means business. It's built to work and work hard. So with that being said, let's put it to work. Let's get out there. First order of business, slam the seat down and slam it back. There we go. Much more comfortable. I don't know who can sit with their head touching the roof. That's just not comfortable to me. This visor freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> it's on there tight, but it sure likes to flap around in the wind a little bit. I'm on the west perimeter around Winnipeg, so Winnipeg is right over there. We're headed north. I'm gonna head up to Highway 6 and then uh, go up towards Asher that way. Had a little bit of a delay this morning, so I'm further behind than I want it to be. Uh, I noticed that on my trailer, it, it was tied down and it was tied down very well. Uh, but in the center of the load, there was a pole that was sort of laying in a valley of the other poles, you know what I mean? And uh, there was nothing holding it down. It was literally just rolling around in there and it could like vibrate and shake off the back. And that, you can't have that. So I had to take the truck around to the back, set up the whole crane and then readjust the load so that the load was all tight together and then restrap it. And then head out. So we're uh, a little bit further behind, quite a bit further behind than I wanted to be. But hopefully we can get everything done. If Ashern goes like really well according to plan and everything is uh, no delays, we shouldn't have a problem. I just have to be back in Winnipeg to load my second load of poles, like around 2 to 2.30, that would be nice, because they go home at 3.30, and they won't be very happy if they have to work overtime and wait for me. Oh, it wasn't my fault, but, you know, stuff happens. Oh, this is Highway 6 coming up here. at the stoplights way up there that's where we're gonna turn left and then it's a probably about an hour and a half north yeah maybe just a little less than an hour and a half north hour and 15 minutes a big kitty cat underneath this hood big caterpillar motor in there I believe it's a c15 twin turbo it uh, it's a beast it's a beautiful beast oh look at that that looks on uh oh it looks like it tipped over or something some damage on the side of it uh oh Probably coming back into Winnipeg for repairs and then headed back north somewhere.
doesn't look that big, but it's pretty heavy. We got 40 poles back there. You can definitely tell that there's something back there, even on a tough truck like this. She's not struggling, but she definitely knows we're pulling something. So just around this corner up here is where we got to bring this first load of poles. At least I think so. Oh yeah, here's the sign coming up on the right, Ashern. I haven't been up here in a long time, since the Pepsi days. someone here to sign off for me and tell me exactly where they want them pretty sure that's the piles right there so I'm gonna go park in there right now and if I need to move then I need to move but those are old ones over there obviously it's probably the ones that I'm replacing here need to shift a little over because I think I'm dropping them in that pile over there but uh, I want to be straight too I think some of them might be going here those are 35 45 I got uh, 35s and 45s on my trailer I'll go ask questions all right I gotta hurry up here because I got a second load waiting for me so uh, I'm gonna quickly throw these on the ground and I'll talk to you guys after Hopefully we can make it there for that second load. Well, the sun just came out, making it a whole lot better of a day. This is what half done. Got the 35ers in here. And with the 40s on the other side. Got two more 35s on there yet. That's why I came down. I wanted to see because they're labeled on the uh, on the end of each pole, eh? See, there's a 440 on there. That's a 40 footer, class four. But they only label them on one side and sometimes I can't see it from up in the crane's chair there if they put the labels on the other side over here. See there's some, so you see that one there, that green sticker, that's a 35 and this one's a 35. The rest are all 40s I believe. There should be 20 40s other than those two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, it's two 35s right there. And so that, those on that side, the rest, we're gonna go into this right here.
Okay, so now I've got all the 35s off. I'm gonna focus on getting those 40s off on the other side as fast as possible. And then those old holes that we saw when we rolled in here, I gotta load those up when I'm done. Take them back to Winnipeg. They're uh, dispose of, disposable, disposable? They're, they're throwaway poles, they're bad poles. We gotta bring them back, they're bad. Like usual, plans changed. Spent the whole day in Ashram. <laughs> Unloaded my poles and look, had to load up all those, uh, a load of those old poles. And we didn't know about that. So the second part of my day kind of got messed up. We're gonna have to do that tomorrow, I guess, because uh, Ashram kind of hogged me to themselves all day today. So I'm gonna bring all of these old ones back into Winnipeg tomorrow morning. Reload for Stein back then and uh go do stein back then i guess nothing i can do about it they didn't tell us that we had a bunch of returns going back but it needs to be done it needs to be done so it shall be done it doesn't really matter to me where i'm working for the day whether here or Steinbeck. as long as i'm driving trucks playing with claws and cranes i'm happy so we stopped here in uh ericsdale get a drink and uh, a couple of snacks for the ri ride home we're in this truck again tomorrow got two loads to deliver tomorrow again hopefully uh, those two go smoother than this one did I had two today as well but the first one took the whole day Tomorrow I have to pick up poles in Winnipeg and deliver them to St. Anne, which is just north of Steinbeck, and then another load of poles, take them to Portage La Prairie, west of Winnipeg. We're gonna get a good and early start. Make sure that we get everything done. get across here nobody is uh, gonna let me in okay I get it I'm a truck you don't like trucks all right since this truck was not left uh, full of fuel I've got to go fuel it up today used over a quarter tank this thing is a pig I'm gonna be using this truck again tomorrow so well even if I wasn't using it again I always Bring the truck I used back full of fuel. I thought that was a general rule, but this truck was left with under half a tank. And I didn't realize, like I was told that this truck is a pig, but I didn't realize how big of a pig it was. <laughs> sell some go-go juice someone's got to fuel it up may as well be me right there she is oh it's busy right now okay let's see let's see where should we go it's lineups hope people aren't just parking in the pumps that's always fun. Waiting for people who just, you know, go inside and grab lunch. <laughs> Why's this guy got his backup lights on? Yeah, looks like everybody's just hanging out. That truck and that truck are both not fueling. They're just parked there. This guy's not fueling either, but he's got his cubby open on his truck, so I don't know what he's doing. This guy's got fuel nozzles in his tanks at least, so. 
I remember this frustration. I remember it well. Stop parking your trucks in the pumps and going inside, people. It's rude. We've got a winner. This guy was doing absolutely nothing. He was uh, washing his truck with the squeegee. Not his windshield, no. Not his side window, not any windows. He was washing his truck with the squeegee. This truck is just a beast. <laughs> I can look over the pumps. Just about. All right. I'll talk to you guys a little later. I'm going to take my janitor keys. Keys to my life. Literally, every key I need in my life. <laughs> and I have them all on this little hook here, so whenever I drive my pickup, I can just take my pickup key off, and so that my all these keys aren't hanging in my ignition. And when the same thing with the motorcycle, and everywhere I go. <laughs> and then we'll get my pickup. I'm gonna leave the this truck 3106 parts right here, hooked up because I'm gonna deliver those poles into Winnipeg tomorrow. We're just here in the uh, back of the loaded lineup. There's the empty lineup. And my truck is just on the other side of that building over there. I'm gonna go get it, drive it over here, and get my stuff out of that truck. I'll take it all out and clean it out just in case if plans change. And they get me doing something else tomorrow, then someone else doesn't get in there and take off with my stuff. And then we'll head home. And do it all over again tomorrow. Like I said, we have two uh, deliveries tomorrow, one St. Anne, one at Port Prairie, and hopefully it all goes smoothly. Hello, my pretty. Hello. Just take my pickup keys off of here. Oh, I gotta, there we go. Oh, it's just my pickup key in the Oh, calm down. I always leave the radio on every single time, except for once in a while. 99% of the time I leave the radio on. I like how I put my seatbelt on just to drive over to the truck across the yard. You never know. You never know. Better safe than sorry. You never know. I might hit a bump and fall out. That's why you didn't wear your seatbelt. You guys remember my old Volvo? It's right there. Remember I put that uh, bug deflector on it? It's now a local or regional truck. The guy who drives it now is a really good guy. We spent what, three years in that truck? Lots and lots of memories. Went to British Columbia in that truck, went to Newfoundland in that truck. Pretty well, all over the the U.S. in that truck. Good times, good times. Those are still the tires I bought for it on there, I think. Unless they changed them again by now, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Get my stuff out of here and lock her up for the night. Tuck her in. nice evening it's the perfect perfect temperature out here right now absolutely perfect hello my other friend I got my sweater I actually had to wear this today it was a little chilly up on the crane in the morning when I got out there but then it heated up pretty quick mm -hmm come back for you one second one second I like the crane work it's I actually really enjoy it a lot of fun and of course it's something different I'm the kind of guy that uh, I like to be challenged I like to have new things 
I like to try new things, do new things. I want to do more things. I like all the things I do already, like the roll tights, that was something new. Uh, I remember when I started on flatbeds, that was something new. When I first started here in 2011, right here, these van trailers, some of these were the very first ones I ever pulled, 53 foot van trailers. I mean, I, I did haul Pepsi before that, but long distance. That was the, these are the first trailers I pulled. And now look at us, now we're driving a crane truck, hauling these bad boys around. Oh, we just keep moving along, just keep moving along. Oh, this is my garbage too. Oh, and that's my hand sanitizer over there. One second. Not really. You can come with me too, my friend. I'll come and lock the doors. I'm gonna have to dust that dashboard tomorrow. Yeah, this is my whole thing. My whole kit and caboodle. Just in case I'm gonna have it at home. Oh, got my safety glasses and I've got my safety glasses shades, my safety shades. I am set, ready to rock. And my just driving shades, it's, that's all tangled up in this charger. Oh, that's lovely, how did that happen? And cheesies, cut some fat.